Hey everyone, I hope you're doing so well. I am coming to you today with a look that was inspired by um, the MAC Style Seeker collection which comes out to the stores on August 23rd. Um, it features very sort of bohemian colors. I don't know, they're very earthy tones, a lot of reds and oranges. I really do enjoy this collection. Um, please stay tuned for how to do this look. Okay, so let's get started. I've already primed my eyelid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've actually done it all the way from the upper lid right up to the brow and then I actually went around the lower lash line and then along the entire eye area that's upper lid up to brow and lower lash line I've applied MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the first color to my lids. Now with the uh, Style Seeker collection I only purchased two of the eyeshadow duos because I felt like I could find um, dupes with what I've already had. So um, the first color that I'm going to use is this brown color from the Marche Opus um, duo and I'm using a fluffy blending brush and this is the number 10 Pro Crease Brush by Sephora. I'm going to apply a little bit to this brush and tap off the excess and then starting right on the brow bone not into the crease I'm not going down to the outer corner I'm going to apply this color straight across to the bridge of my nose kind of meeting with the um, brow on the inner part of my eyebrow. So as you can see I've gone quite close to my brows and using such a fluffy brush helps me blend the color out. Now we'll go in with the second color on today's look and this is the On The Hunt duo. I'm going to use this sort of burgundy tone right here and I'm using a Makeup Forever brush and this is the number one, sorry, 18S. And as you can see it's angled but it's quite thick in the middle or dense and um, I find that it's great. It's a little bit of a not rougher but stiffer brush and I find that it's good to pick up the color and pack it on the lid so I'm just going to tap the color into onto the brush or tap the brush into the color and then I'm going to put this on my um, eyelid not going past the crease as you can see I'm kind of pressing it in and I'm going to stop about three quarters of the way in Okay, now with that sort of burgundy color placed on my upper lid, you can see I stopped right here. I'm going to go back to the first eyeshadow duo that I was using and go into this orange, a golden orange color here. Um, it is a frost eyeshadow and I am going to use my uh, fluffier sort of blending, not flatter brush, fluffy flat brush. I don't even know what to call it. It's the 213 brush by MAC. <laughs> um, and anyways, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the brush and then pack this color in on that portion of my upper eyelid that I put no color on. Now in order to blend this color out, I'm kind of um, blurring out the line between where this burgundy color stopped and this orange color started with this fluffy brush. And then I'm going to go back in with the Makeup Forever brush, but not apply any extra color and just kind of go back and forth along that line again. Next I'm going to take this tiny little blending brush that I got from Michaels. This is the Artist Loft Mop and it's number zero. I'm going to apply this burgundy color to the tip of this brush and apply this color all along the lower lash line kind of stopping right at the tear duct. Now 
Now I'm going to smudge a little bit of black uh, gel liner along my upper lash line, kind of stopping where this orange color starts, but I'm going to smudge it out to try to make a smooth transition. And I'm going to put some along the lower lash line um, and fading out as it approaches the tear duct area. For this I'm using a small uh, deer foot brush. This is a 1 8 brush by Artist Loft and as you can see it's slanted I think you can see it's kind of a mini less dense version of the makeup forever brush that I'm using so they essentially have the same shape is just this one's much tinier and I'm going to dip it into um, the Bobbi Brown gel liner in uh, black ink and with that I'll rub a little bit off onto the back of my hand and then smudge this along the upper lash line. You don't have to be totally clean with this, just smudge it. And I'm going to do the same thing along the lower lash line. Now going back with this tiny um, mop brush from uh, Meg Michaels, I'm going to go back into the burgundy color and smudge this right along where I put that eyeliner on the upper and lower lash lines. Okay, now going back with this first blending brush that I used, just dip a little bit into that initial brown color and just to help blend this color out a little bit more or the colors on the lid a little bit more, I'm going to go back along the crease and the brow bone and just blend the color across again. Now there was this duo uh, with the um, in the collection that had this really pretty gold color in it. Um, I didn't get it, although now I want to go back and get it, I didn't get it because I have so many different gold colors. Um, one that I have is a little bit of a brighter color. It's a mineral um, cosmetic called Innocence. I don't know how popular it is but I really like this color that's called um, Gleaming Gold. I'm going to take my little fluffy brush here, get a little color onto the brush and then pack this on the inner tear duct area as a highlight and put a little bit under just underneath the brow. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara which for today will be the Lash to Stiletto Voluptuous by Maybelline and then I'm going to apply a flesh toned um, liner along my uh, lower lash line, um, sorry in the waterline. Um, I don't usually do this because I feel like it looks funny on me because my skin's so dark to have a really bright color in my lid looks unnatural but I found a more flesh toned color for me and this one is by I heard a sound it kind of scared me um, this one is by NARS and it's called um, it's the larger than life long wear eyeliner which is a bonus because then it won't wash out so much when it's on the waterline and the color is Rue Bonaparte and I'll just put this along the lower lash line, apply the mascara on my upper and lower lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've completed applying the mascara and that eyeliner to my lower lash line, maybe you can see that it makes my eyes look slightly bigger without looking, I hope it doesn't look completely unnatural. Um, I'm going to apply my blush and my cheek highlight and from the Style Seeker collection I purchased two colors of blush. One that probably wouldn't look too good on me but I really like it. Um, it's called Super Continental and it's a satin blush. And then the second one is called Hidden Treasure and this is a velvet finish. I'm going to apply this and I mean as always with matte colors you don't want to go too heavy handed on them because they are quite pigmented. Luckily you can build them up so I am going to lightly apply this sort of to the cheek 
to the apples of my cheek not so much though and then work it back and as a highlighter highlight to my cheek brow bone bridge of my nose cupid's bow and chin i'm going to apply this Guerlain terracotta sun in the city um golden glimmer powder and this one's called a sweep of sunlight okay so i've completed applying the cheek color and i managed to keep it subtle but it really does the color matches with this burgundy color and i love it um one thing i really enjoy about this collection is the suitability for darker tones um a lot of the colors i was drawn to so um i went with a lot of the lip colors um i purchased most of them with the exception of two and I just wanted to quickly show them to you before I go ahead and apply the colors and I mean if you can find colors in other brands you don't have to buy the MAC colors you can this is just sort of an illustration for those of you that just want to see how these colors work on darker skin tones or any skin tone for that matter in my case it's darker um, so I got four colors in the lipsticks and they're called um, they're mateen lipsticks the first one is a nude tone that I think would look really good on um, darker skin tones and this one is delect delectable I don't know if you can see that and then um, the second one is an orange tone and this is called fashion nomad I'm still trying to get used to oranges on my skin I can wear orange clothes but I don't know about orange makeup um, so there's the orange and then this lovely red color it's more has I think more of a blue undertone to it and this one is Eden Rouge they're very soft which I like because they're moisturizing and then the last one is a nude tone which I think would look horrible on me <laughs> unless I used a nice lip liner but I still really like it and I think this one is called Fun, Fun Finds and these are the colors I don't know if it's focused but at least you can get an idea and for the lip glasses I purchased three of the colors um, the individual that I spoke to at Mac told me the fourth color I think it's something clear it's in the it's in the permanent collection so I decided not to purchase it um, the first lip gloss so they're they're also red and orange tones um, the first lip gloss that I purchased was um, ready to roam and it's a red color and here it is it's quite bright but I think it would look awesome on its own and then the second one is called eclectic edge and it's an orange tone with um, sort of a uh, golden shimmer to it or even just a it does have a frost to it and that's it right there and the third one is called restless and I I can't quite explain the color it's it's like a golden with orange and red undertones to it almost rusty and those are the three lip glosses that I purchased um, now I'm gonna go on and apply my um, lip color and for this today I'm not using a lip liner I'm going to use the nude um, lipstick with indelectable and just apply a light coat of that and then over that I'm going to apply the orange lip gloss called e eclectic edge okay and with my lip color complete I have now finished uh, my tutorial for today which features the Mac style seeker collection which comes out I think in North America stores in on August 23rd 2012 um, definitely go check it out or just try to find dupes if you can I have truly hope you've enjoyed um, please stay tuned for plenty more and be sure to check out my giveaway video which I posted right before this tutorial.
I actually wore this look in that video. Um, have a fabulous day. Please stay tuned for plenty more and take care.